Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and to me trying to make a thumbnail. What an epic fail. I don't know if this is how anyone else does it, but anywho. The point of this video is I'm getting rid of the watch. So how important is a distance measuring device? I'm getting rid of it so who knows what my yardage are. They're just being completely made up and I'm eyeballing everything. And it's foggy as. So we're whacking driver into the abyss here. On the first at Bracken Gill, only a 330 yard par 4, and I think that's good. Might be a tad left, but don't mind that. And here's a total guess of around 55 yards. We have literally no clue. The watch is switched off, it's in the bin. It's definitely not in the bin because it's expensive. And that's not going to make it to the green because I've hit the big ball a lot further before the smaller ball, i.e. the earth. So distance was not an issue there because that was a duff. And we are now looking to try and get up and down for par. And this is a bump and run which I've played nicely. I've left it just below the hole which is probably a good thing because we've got an uphill putt. Hopefully I can do without leaving this one short. Because that would be poor. And we've slid it in the side dish and that's a par. And here we go with a 5-iron as the cat tries to smother me. 5-iron down the second and we can't see where it's going whatsoever. But we've hit that pretty nicely down the left centre of the fairway and we'll go and try and find it. There's a lot of wintry lies here so we've got preferred lies anywhere that is grass. So we can use the yardage markers but that is only a little bit of help so we're hitting a gap wedge thinking this is about 110 yards however the distance is not really the concern here because I've pushed it right and that's probably going to miss the green and to be fair the distance was pretty decent but the line was shocking so now we have a fairly tough shot across the green with left to right break as there's a huge slope on the screen and we've wussed out of it and left it short so you can't actually see the hole, however we have about 7 feet for our par here and quite honestly we can't really blame not having a distance measuring device. That wouldn't have made any difference to the chip but I have sunk one and that's two one putts in a row and delirium. Ooh a bit of on course insight from me there and my thick Yorkshire accent. I did miss the tee shot, but I blazed it way right. I'm not sure what happened there. Um, but I can't even see the green. This is an eight iron, I believe. And I thought I was aiming over that slim tree. And I pushed it a bit right, but it's actually turned out a lot better than I thought it was. I thought it was going to be miles right. So you will see some more insights from me as to what was going on in the nightmarish hellscape that is my mind. And this is another bump and run after a missed green. That's none from three. And after leaving the first two chips short, we have now blazed this one past and have a quite simply horrific breaking putt. The only saving grace is it's right to left rather than left to right, and that suits the eye better for a right-hander. Oh my goodness, that did turn a lot considering it was three feet, but that's another par and another one putt. And well, we'll take it. So, no blood spilt just yet, and that's level par through the first three. And now we're biffing driver at the green. Fortunately, this is my home course of Bracken Gill, and I have played it well over a hundred times, as I flay that one somewhat right of where I was aiming, and it's come up here. So I do kind of know the yardages, to put it bluntly, um, especially on that hole. It's drivable. It's still a par four. So we yet again have a bump and run, but this is for eagle. And someone decided to forget to cut the middle of the green, so that's come up short. And we yet again have work, but this is for birdie. And this to get under par, and we'll put the watch in the bin if this goes in. Don't need it. Bobbly, bumpy, it's gone in there, <laughs> unreal. And a fist pump, what a noodle head. And there's water in that. Anywho, so we're one under par, not really needing the distance measuring devices at this stage, so... Don't bother spending any money on them, ladies and gents. Hope you're enjoying these videos as I slap what I think is an A time down there. Yet again, play this hole numerous times so I can kind of guess based off the 
the mat how far this one is and I spun the club so I think it's good but it's not we're on the green thank you everyone for watching as I said hope you do enjoy the videos if you do slap a like and don't forget to subscribe because it is free and it really helps me out here we go then this is for birdie I've completely misread the line and bashed it through any break that there could have been so now we are struggling to save our par and we have a little knee knocker that's going to move from our left to right and can we hold it I suppose is the main question and that's a resounding no and oh wow a bit of anger there which you don't need so that's a bogey and you can't really blame the distance I mean I was a little short but I probably would have hit 8 iron all day long moving swiftly on and it's getting foggier and we're hitting 3 wood on the 6th in summer probably drivable with a 3 wood but not today because it is extremely wet but we've hit a good one the finish was unusual but we pulled it Shot, I think. More insight. We're guessing again then. So this is a 52 degree wedge and we don't really want to go along at this flag because it's right in the back corner and that is a huge divot. And surprise surprise we're safely on the green however way short. So this for birdie then. Realistically on these wintry greens they're a bit soft so two putts would be okay and we'll walk off. My putting is definitely the weakest part of my game, as you well know by now, having watched the previous videos. And it shows. And we have a testing putt back for par. And to save yet another three putt, and that's only just crept in on the left side, but we'll take it all days of the week. And now we're just hitting a four iron up the seventh to eliminate the need of going in a bunker or hopefully into the trees. You'd like to think we can find a 30 yard wide fairway with a 4 iron. However, I have hit that 20 yards right of where I was aiming and we've missed the fairway. But it's not in too much trouble. Um, I'm pretty much next to the yellow stake, so I think it's about 150 yards slightly uphill, so it's just 155 yards shot with an 8 iron. There we go. More insights for you. 8 iron then and for everything we've said about that we did not take into account the tree that was overhanging and I thought that was going high and right 120? 125? fortunately it blazed off the tree and into the middle of the fairway and as you just heard we're hitting a wedge struck it beautifully pulled it a tad but it's on line and I've nailed it through the green and that's probably the first time we've really misjudged the distance and it's fairly catastrophic. Fortunately it is soft so we might have a chance of getting this up and down even though it's downhill. Yeah, it's a little bit left of target but distance control was sublime there. And this is left for bogey though, having belted a tree earlier on in the hole. So we're dropping at least one which we've made that so that's actually not a terrible bogey in the end after a few mishaps. So we're back to level par, and again, a short par 4 with no real reason to hit driver, so this is just a 5 iron to get into position. The difficulty here on this hole is going to be the second shot. That was an attempted stinger, which failed miserably. So I just walked it from the 150 marker, and I think it's 135 yards, but it's playing downhill and maybe downwind, but it's wet, so I'm going to try and hit three-quarter wedge 125 shot. okay so wedge it is then our tee shot did better than I initially thought and this is tracking this is right at it have I finally got the distance right in it a good one no it's long and we are on the fringe not a million miles off to be fair tricky put though right to left and slightly downhill And if only I'd listened to what I've just said, because I've absolutely smashed that. And this is further than it looks on camera. This is 10 feet now. Back up the hill for par. Maybe I need a measuring device for my putting. Don't know what that would look like. 
and we need something because that's atrocious and I'm not happy and why would you be that's essentially a three put even though I was off the green and I'm gonna get my hand wet as well just for good measure so nothing less than I deserve here we are then last hole of the video and off the mat again and this is an eight iron not really a guess because I've played off the mats before but we'll see how this goes unfortunately a measuring device for your distance does not help you hit the ball online and I pulled that left and we've missed it left distance was decent though so I can't complain although I have snagged a very wet grassy lie here I know we are on grass but it's quite thick I've stuffed it out but I've missed my line completely and yet again we're having a tester for par this for plus one on the nine then and we'll take that honestly without a distance measuring device I hated it personally as we drain it that's plus one yeah I hated it because I could never commit to any shots but let me know what you think in the comments and we'll see you soon for more epic content